heard about long COVID, but you may not know exactly what that means. It's because doctors and public health officials can't settle on what the definition for it actually mm -hmm. is. And tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is digging deeper into why that is such a big problem. The CDC has one way to define long COVID. The World Health Organization has another. And those differences have doctors frustrated. Without a standard definition, we're not going to be able to understand what long COVID is. It's one thing to catch COVID, but to have it for an extended period of time is another challenge. So how long does it have to be for it to be considered long COVID? This is a very, very challenging field. Uh, to study just because of the lack of standard definitions, even of what we're talking about. There isn't even one standard name. It's been called long COVID, long haul COVID, and post COVID. And those are just the shortest ones. The CDC says it's long COVID if conditions persist for at least four weeks after the initial disease and last for any amount of time longer. But the time frame from the World Health Organization is three months from the first symptoms and continuing for at least two months after that. I think we need to push all of us, my field, public policy people, epidemiologists to say, when are we going to get a group together in a room, lock the doors until they come out with a definition, a standard definition of what long COVID is. UNC Dr. David Wall says there's still lots of work to do to figure out which symptoms indicate long COVID and which don't. We need instruments, surveys, instruments that help us measure this and measure it you know, going on. And we should all be using the same thing. Otherwise, we're not talking the same language. Dr. Wall hopes a study at UNC can help clear things up. And he explains how in my story online. Jody McCrary, CBS 17 News.